The gap between male and female participation in politics is alarming and has limited women's contribution to national development in Nigeria. Seeking to rectify this in a bid to promote women representation in governance and leadership positions, the Women Advocates Research and Documentation Center, in collaboration with Women's Rights Advancement and Protection Alternative, has organized a conference on women participation in governance. The conference held in Lagos is targeted at making women more active in the political space. Our correspondent, Sidney Okafo, now reports. The controversies over gender parity are recurrent both nationally and internationally. Despite national gender policy, which provides for 35% of all appointments to be allocated to women in the country, women representation and participation in governance remain drastically low. To this end, a coalition of civil society organizations have called on all women in politics and are the grassroots to collaborate and make a move towards building a consensus for women's advancement in Nigeria. Speaking at the event which was held in Lagos, the convener will manifest to consensus building Abiola Akiode Afolabi, urge women to demand accountability at their constituency level for inclusion of women in political leadership. There are issues of representation and political participation. Uh, if you look at what we have now, it is an embarrassment that we have just three women at the Senate level. You know, we cannot leave this issue this way, so we need to do more. So we, we are looking at that, the issue of economy, the issue of sexual and reproductive rights of women, the issue of environment, the issue of our Greek and other issues. So these are some of the issues that we are building consensus in. Uh, when, we, when we finish, we are going to come up with a charter, which we are going to submit to uh, the uh, leadership of the National Assembly, uh, to state assemblies, and also to Mr. President. In her keynote address, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Women and Children Affairs, Sokoto State, Aisha Mohammed, called on President Bola Tinubu to appoint more women in leadership and decision-making position, including ministerial position and head of agency and prior status of government. Women are vulnerable because they are more prone to violence and other uh, environmental hazards. Even if you talk about uh, banditry or uh, economic hardship, it, more, uh, it affects women more greatly than men. Other members of the group say involvement of women in politics and governance would ensure prudent, transparent and empathy leadership leading to efficient and result-driven performance. Women are already disenfranchised by not allowing them to participate in party politics. And so when they are nominating candidates, women are not there to nominate their candidates because they are not part of the uh, people that will nominate candidates. So congresses are done without women. And so the leadership of the party is already a male-dominated leadership. We want to begin early to start building consensus around issues we would project or promote um, for, um, to enable better legislation for women representation in government. And what are we looking at building consensus around? One um, last assembly, ninth assembly, we had five gender bills for those who follow the constitutional amendment process. One of the gender bill was on affirmative action for appointive officers. Um, so that is a proposal amending the constitution to mandate the president and governors to give a particular percentage of seats to women in appointment. Urging Nigerians to join the advocacy for increased women's participation in both elective and appointive positions. The groups have thrown their weight behind policies such as 35% affirmative action and challenging harmful stereotypes in order to build a more inclusive, equitable and prosperous country.